Did you pull up PC4, uh, Michael? Yeah, well, that's whatever is on the dive. Yes. That's been going. So, yes, that's so, PC4. Yeah. There probably wasn't much in the cinema well, cam. Could we put PC4? It was, it was, uh, yes, uh, that it has been the thing for the cinema cam for the longest time. Whoa. There it is. Ah. For the longest time. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so if you w they want to get it up, you can get it up. Oh, it is so oh. small compared so to the small. fluff. Did wow, it is a black coral. coral. No. Oh, nice. I saw that first, yeah. You said that was a rat tail, Lila? Yes. It is a rat tail. It almost seems like there's some, uh, like, orb, like, cylinder, uh, circular sand, like that's something that was spit out by a fish. I see what you mean, or like the crab. organics are kind of rounded. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go I don't know. until someone brings up the cinema cam. I'm gonna go to a different dive. Which uh, um, answers the question in the I'm chat. Do we have the cinema cam this dive? And I think the answer is yes, right? Um, I the think usually they put PC4 up on satellite three. I'm guessing Panos is what happens. Panos, do you do we want to put the cinema cam on? Uh, yes, I have to find because it's not PC. Four. It was PC four all this time. Right. And it's How to switch today. it? Today, yes. So. Oh. All right. Let me figure it out. Let's see. Source. An anemone. It has. It has to be PC four. It has to be PC four. It's probably. Not, it's not open. Yes. There's a way. Yeah. There's a way to. Uh, to set what PC four is looking at, and I guess right now it's looking at your your computer instead of at the cinema cam computer so or it's, uh, yeah. teams and this is data lab i can uh, change pc4 over if you want yeah that'd be yes, great please. thanks yes, tim sir. thank you tim tim for the win <laughs> thanks data lab data lab has a name <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> tim thanks <laughs> um, can we come wide please More good. <sighs> and it does. This looks like these pellets are very round in the bridge now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what uh, Jane was saying. Can we have saying. another three in zero meters, two two zero? In the shallows, there's like sand bubbler crabs that will make Thank those, you. but uh -huh. I yeah, don't yeah, I don't know, know if that would be the here. same type of organism Creature, down here. Yeah. Just rows and rows of round poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> All right, PC4 should be cinnamon. Thank, Thank you, you, Tim. That is a firm. PC4 is now cinnamon game. And yes, cinnamon. satellite feed is cinema cam three. Yep. Satellite feed three. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Tim. That's amazing. Now you're gonna have your eyes stuck to the cinema cam looking no, for like seat pens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are going when, two when two we, zero. That is when true. When we zoom, it's starting to come now. We start seeing lots of stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff. Usually, kind of white-ish stuff that blends into the sand. I was reading the dive summary from one of the last Okeanos dives. They are currently up in Alaska. Oh yeah, I've seen this. In the EZ, yeah. And they thought that they they went to this 4,000 meter site that they thought might be a seep, which would have been very cool, a seep that deep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't find they didn't find anything chemosynthetic. But they did talk about the expanses of sand. And how they saw a lot of sea pens, and I thought about you. Four thousand meter deep sea pens. Yeah, and they saw one pichilella uh -huh. on the Twitter because people usually very kindly share. So oh, it was nice. Shaking. So there is a cofabulomena as well that I saw beautiful. Was bur mostly bird. So it's really nice just to see the top of the the huge polyps. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. So we are going to finish this position, but we still have our a little bit of uh, 
deep uh, images for us to watch as well. A little bit of what? Uh, the other expeditions uh, that yeah, we can yeah. follow along. Yeah, I well, see it. I stop moving forward. I'll let you catch me. Maybe Lynette, the next move will do point three. Or yeah, I think whenever it's idea. appropriate to change. Yeah, it looks like we might be hitting um, a wall soonish. Yeah, some yeah. steep stuff eventually, but I think it's still yeah. off. In the meantime, I think we can kind of coast through this. Yeah, sounds good. We don't want to count the grains of sand. I mean, you're welcome to zoom in and get a start on that. <laughs> we could do this systematically. One. What's the system? Count a certain number and a certain amount of volume and then estimate the volume. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That's how I won all of the candy guessing games in elementary school. Nice. Very good. Cheater. It's Nerd. not cheating. It's, like so it's cheating. System systematic, it's systematic, according to oh, that's cheating. Yeah, that's like counting cards. It's, yeah, being it's like counting smart. cards. Well, then they shouldn't teach us math. If yeah. they, want us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't teach me how to estimate. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want me to have all the... They weren't even like good candies. They were like the strawberry hard candies. Yeah. Not great. Oh wait, do you win the candy? Is that what you I win? Think so, yeah. No then I had to share the with the class though, so it wasn't even worth it. What? What? That's because ah, you cheated. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> that's yeah, Ms. Kaczynski. <laughs> <laughs> now you would just have to take them home because we don't really eat candy too much in school anymore. Mm. Boo. Why even go to school at all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? When you were in school, everybody, what was the food that you, like, what kinds of foods did you always get jealous that other kids had? Like, what was it about in someone else's lunchbox that you were like, mm, wish I had that? What are you holding up right now, James? Uh, fruit, fruit roll up. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was going to be, or gushers. Yeah, technically, gushers. these are fruit by the foot. We did not, not we fruit roll not ups. a gushers family. Well, 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 well. Fruit roll ups. Yeah, definitely like fruity, chewy candy. Mm -hmm. And gushers are hey, something Hey, can else. we have five zero meters, two two zero? and 0.3 knots. I was also very jealous of Lunchables. I was, that's yeah. what I was gonna say, that was always <laughs> my thing, you know, and they're like, so bad for you, I guess, but I, and I was always, you know, I was, I had good, I had some like good food to eat, but I was like, I don't want that. I want, I, I want, want the lunchable. perfect round slices of <laughs> suspicious meat. Of processed, well, questionable. Yeah, right. People, I think there's like a theory that that is what led to millennials obsession with, um. Charcuterie board. Charcuterie oh, board. That's that hilarious. is so funny. I never knew, I never thought about I that. I believe it. It's just like adult lunchables. <laughs> I never adult got a lunchable, lunchable when I was a kid. Now I will buy as many crackers but I used as I to, want. I used to like exchange my cliff bars. I'd be like, <laughs> oh I don't God. want this. Take my cliff bar. Please give me your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no, the big, thing, the big thing now is um, seaweed. Like oh, what? yeah. Seaweed's oh, those, so yeah, those are great. The crispy, uh -huh. they take wow. up your entire lunch yeah, box. It's and like, it's, like it's this only giant 10 bites. Container. <laughs> 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 it's definitely not going to fill you up. <laughs> well, that's great that kids like seaweed now. That's It's yummy. It always gets in your teeth. That's an anemone. We've been seeing a lot of those, like, um, I guess tube anemones that are flush with the sand. Anemone. But just when I feel like... I can see the, the second uh, row of uh, tentacles. Yeah. No? This is the same thing we've been seeing uh, the most of, I feel like, in uh, all the sandy substrate. Mm. Can we zoom out, please? That's perfect, thank you. We have a question in the chat. How untouched is the environment down here? Do fishing trawlers damage the seafloor, or is this too deep for them? Too deep. That's a good question. Too deep? I too don't deep. think it's too deep. It's not too deep, but there is not trawling here. No, I think this area is protected, isn't it? I don't think you're allowed to fish Yeah, here. we're in the Marine National Monument. I don't actually know exactly what fishing protection comes with that. 
but there is something. I will say, um, there's not a lot of garbage. Uh, did I haven't seen here? any. Oops. Yeah, oh. we've only had a um, few small. I'm not sure. Oops. Oh, is the umbalula or something maybe? Maybe a crinoid by the can shape, but if we can see. Yeah. Wow, I can't see that in Herc's cam at all. It's yeah, no, it's in cinema, cinema cam. cam. Yeah, I know, yeah. I see oh, that now, but. Okay. Do you see it on Herc? No. No. It's Where is it's it? it's further up. Maybe. You can zoom out, Panos. Uh, is there yeah, that's what is that that's there? That might be it. There's it's something. It's oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's yeah, a shadow that's of it. it. Yeah. yeah okay, you can zoom in. There we go. Now I see it. Could be. Oh, yeah. It is a. Crinoid. No, it's a blue. Don't no, get the patronic glasses. I think it's a crinoid. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a crinoid. It's dressed as an umbalula for Halloween. Is, the color it's is so such a blended in. Moving dive. I did not see that. It's in incredible. I mean, there must be so much stuff like that that we don't see, except yeah. Cinema Cam really helps with that. But my heart already starts racing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's my very heart, clear my heart is here. For you. <laughs> it is very, very clear. Yeah. It's pr I think it's pretty. That's true. Very limited marine snow hanging around right here. Like you can really see a. Oh, that is beautiful. Hurricane at Atlanta. Have we seen a crinoid that looks like this before? We haven't seen one like this uh, on this expedition, on our watch at least. No. It has a really interesting, um, uh, like the rays have really interesting shapes. The pinules are yeah. alternating and strange. And it's a bit we weaved, like. Um, right, exactly, like they're uh, uneven. Yeah, and it is uh, 10 arms. Beautiful. All right, we can, can uh, scooch wide, along. What was that song? Huh? Was that a song? Moving right, right along. Yeah, moving right I along. I don't know that one. From the Muppets. In search oh. of good times and good news. I feel like you've sang that every time we've had watch. <laughs> yeah, because I have. Uh-huh. I didn't know what it was from either. It's oh. great. It goes, with good friends you can't lose. Oh, this do, could do, do. become a habit. Oh. At least we want to watch the Muppets. Yeah, it's yeah. a great song. Wholesome. This is a tangential to Muppets, but a friend of mine who works in the YouTube space, um, he, uh, on the show that he works for, the group that he works for, they got to meet Cookie Monster. What? What? Yeah. What? Is it true that you shouldn't meet your heroes? <laughs> 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 How was that experience for them? Uh, it, everyone was too, everyone was excited for like weeks, apparently. Oh. Excited as Cookie Monster was for cookies? Yep. I think is this when you do your car that voice crying or it was bath of crying? And then, and uh, like, I was super jealous for, like, uh, I'm still super jealous. Aww. We're all jealous of your throat singing. Yeah. <laughs> As you should be. Apparently. Um, we have an interesting question in the chat, and I'm not sure if D Tim's listening from the data lab, but how much storage does the average dive recording take up? That's a mm. good question. And I do not know the answer to that. Great question. 16 megabytes. <laughs> <laughs> way more than that. Yeah, way more than that. <laughs> Maybe on a dive that got recalled. <laughs> we don't include the... It's not that much, but we store them on floppy disks, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't the include the ones, video the <laughs> on the drives that the scientists take at the end, but those drives go on to, I want to say, 20 terabyte drives with all just the images oh, wow. that we take, the still captures we take, and all the other data that gets collected. Um, the dog can't turn them out, I would assume. Oh my gosh, Steph, our other SCF is watching, <laughs> and she just chimed in that the Muppets scare her. Uh, Steph, make sure to get some sleep. <laughs> I wonder which Muppet in particular. 
What? I said, I wonder which Muppet scares her in particular, or is huh? it like all of them? They are kind of creepy. I like that, what was the one, Monster, who just was, kind of looks like that emoji. I think I think they're hilarious. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't see the scare factor in them. I mean, I do think they're weird, but <laughs> I think they're great. Bridge now. Can we have another five zero meters to two zero, please? Thank you. Could we maybe go point four, Lynette? <laughs> Is that crazy? I don't know if we could. We might go back in time. <laughs> Light speed. Yeah, that's a little insane. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think our bodies are meant to take such speeds. <laughs> Bridge nav. Can we increase to point four? Awesome. Get ready. Gauge <laughs> yeah, afterburners. I need a seatbelt. <laughs> What's that floating? Nope, oh, and it's gone. Yeah, it was very small. It was like right in front of us. <laughs> zoom in. Oh yeah, what's that? What's that? Shrimp. Shrimp, add it to the count. Shrimp. Oh yeah. Steph, since you're still up, we can add it to the count. Could we look at... Um, after this shrimp, yeah, what's just out of frame to the bottom? That weird mound over here. Yeah. Might just be a mound of nothing. Zoom in, Pounce. The whole. Hmm. No idea. It's a no, sand castle built by a sea <laughs> cucumber out of its poop or something. <laughs> Educated guess. Or a xenophyre for it. Who knows? Hmm. A xenophyre for? Is that what you said? Stop making up names. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, you know xenophyre for? No. I mean, to me, that sounds like the thing in Aliens that comes out of the chest. So it's, yeah. Well, Zeno is uh, the Latin for alien. Oh. I believe. Right? Because xenophobia is fear of... Is that fear of aliens? Well, it's fear of... Fear of, of fear it's more colloquially, it's it's a fear of uh, outsiders, which is so problematic. But um, let's see. Yeah, and xenotic, I think, means alien. Zeno, stranger, guest, or host. Hmm. But xenobiology, I think, um, also refers to, like, planetary biology. I could Whoa. see that. Foreign. So more in. of these little a lot more. sand balls. So weird. Maybe they're younger nodules. <laughs> <laughs> little baby nodules. Little baby. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, all right. You come wide, please. <laughs> Enough of that. We've got to get him to stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and they're like moving across over on the left. Yeah. And yeah, we kick some of them up. They seem yeah. very. They seem very floaty. That's they interesting. Do. I don't know if you've ever had guinea pigs or rabbits. It kind of looks like. <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> <too>. <laughs> I know where you're going. <sighs> The pattern here of the the sand in the sand is, is a bit tug, messy. Tug, tug. Yeah, yeah. I've been noticing that that there's like areas with much more uniform uh, ripples that have more of the organic material, and then some more patchy areas that have broken ripples that are oh, less so. Um, just to go back to that earlier question about fishing within the monument. Yeah. I looked that up, and uh, commercial fishing is prohibited within okay. the Pacific Rim Islands Marine National Monument. So we would not see any. Yeah. We should. Uh, that should is not. a big trash contributor. Places where there are fishing operations. Um, so yeah, we haven't been seeing a lot of that. But they did on one watch a couple days ago see like, Can I want to say something? a line and some oh. some net or something of some kind. They get know. to see everything. It's like a sack or something, is that right? Yeah. 
Well, we have also, I mean, not Trip. us personally on this expedition, but Nautilus goes to other seamounts outside of the protected areas, correct? Uh, yeah. And, and so have they seen any damage there that, you're, that you know of? Um, well, when we did it on in the off the Pacific, off the, off of Oregon, Washington, and California, we saw uh, we would see trawl marks sometimes, and we saw um, fishing debris all the time. Mm. But there are also a lot of areas around there, especially around the methane seeps where we were, that are being designated as essential fish habitat, and um, trawling is also has been, I, I want to say, since around 2015, prohibited in certain areas because of that. There is a fish in the... Yeah. yeah there is a fish back there. And it, no. It's very unlikely that it's Hercules. Lila, we had a lot of people chime in about your question. A lot of people say seaweed is wonderful. Oh. Um, there yeah, was definitely go. some Twinkies, Ho-Ho's, Cupcakes, and Zingers. Yeah. And then this one that I found really interesting was a pack of Dunkaroos. Oh, Dunkaroos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything that was interactive, you know, <laughs> like if you could, like like those sour candies. This is a Cuskill also. Oh, the Warheads? I don't know, but the ones where you like ripped open part of it and it was like full of sour dust and then you dumped ah. like a oh, fun dip. Oh, you would fun. lick oh, it. Yeah. And oh yeah, fun. You dip. know, like anything that a kid could be like, oh, I'm gonna put it together. Like, I was dude, Dunkaroos. I was in the grocery store <laughs> like I don't know a year ago, and wow. they had like all these individual packs of Dunkaroos right at the checkout. <laughs> and of course, like I was like nostalgic, <laughs> like yeah. impulse bought like ten of them. <laughs> And I had yeah, one package, and I was like, this is the most vile thing. <laughs> <laughs> so not so tasty. I it mean, is. I loved it as a kid, but now I'm like, this, yeah. is, this is not good. Were those the ones with the chocolate dip, or was that cheese dip? They, they had a chocolate dip, and they had like a vanilla. Wow. It was like yeah. frosting. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Little it looked like it had sparkles like in it. Didn't they have, yeah. any, did they have something yeah. like yeah. that where you dipped something in cheese, too? Yeah, yeah. those are like so cheese and crackers. Yeah. Like that. It was like little mini breadsticks or pretzels or something, and you dipped and I've had some that like that had the uh, yeah they all had stuff like that like it's like they have peanut butter ones and they also had like a little jam ones. Turn around, fish. We would like to see your head better. It's a cuskill of some face, sort, please. right? Yes, it is a cuskill. Man, candy back then. That was like bubble tape. Bubble oh, I love tape. bubble tape. Yeah, that was yeah. Big oh. necessarily big. big yeah. League chew. <laughs> My friend got me a, a pack of Big League Chew for some reason. Oh. <laughs> Just recently. Bridge now. Wow, How this is big or or, uh, really pretty. It uh, is a is very it? pretty shot. Five zero meters, oh. two two zero, please. Oh, yeah. Going to feed on the bottom. And, and, uh, and fruit stripe or fruit stripe? Show us your fruit mouth protruding yep, out of your tattoos. mouth hole. <laughs> kept its flavor for like 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> but the wrappers had right. tattoos on yeah. them. Yeah. So cool. How about those like freeze pops that cut uh, the size of your mi mouth? Can you bring oh, your mic yeah. closer? Because the uh, video can't hear you. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Better? <laughs> oh, he's been having trouble hearing you. Uh, I'll just uh, speak like a big boy. Just whistle. Just whistle. <laughs> Smoke signals. In the van. Yep. All right. Make it happen. What's blue? What's this? That's the water. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, on the, on the where you see comms blue. on the comms tabs. Uh, uh, what's blue next to wet lab? Oh, um. Sorry. All right. So we have. Um, did you see the absolute babyest Chana cops yesterday? No, I missed that. Yeah. We, no, we didn't get to have a watch. That gets to do things. We Did saw we a small one yesterday. Didn't we, we were no, watching our last dive. Not, it wasn't our watch, but another watch before ours. Actually, bef the only watch that yeah. made it on the 1,000th yeah. dive. Yeah, James, if you think you saw it, we didn't. <laughs> we, the last time we were in the water, we saw it. There was a, we saw one, too, gone. actually, you're right. Yeah, I think we saw it the first one that, we, that came on. No, but we also saw another one, like, in the last two days. Oh. We yeah. saw that small one. Not I as small as the one that they saw this morning. I don't recall. 
Chana cups were so small to begin with. Aww. It must have been very cute. Yeah. It had like little translucent um, arms and legs because mm -hmm. it was so young. What are you looking at? How you say you looked like you were excited about something? No, looks. I had the impression that there's something big swimming in the and back, but oh, I think you guys are. I gotta get up. Catch up. Oh. Now he's speed up. <laughs> <laughs> The chat says it's the most Luge Cruise speed. Luge Cruise, you know, the space ball. Speed of light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite Punch movies. <laughs> so funny. Dirt burners. I, I really wish that the, the this controlled the winch. <laughs> we can make it happen. <laughs> oh, wait. Whoa. Bye. See something? Yeah. I, just had to, something. I was trying to get ahead. There was so, something so. a little back. See something, here. say something. You see something, say something. Oh, that's catchy. <laughs> the NYPD thought so too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so clear, it's hard to make out the lasers. It's true, actually. Hmm. So the chat is um, guessing if those are maybe eggs or big fish poop and those circular things. Yeah, I don't think they're eggs, but they could could be um, some kind of like bioturbation product, or it could just be that like the detritus that sinks down to the seafloor gets almost like channeled and coagulated by whatever current effects down here might have created those ripples and then just gets trapped um, within those ripples. We've seen kind of similar things in the past and uh, the when we had that Raman spectrometer out uh, last expedition or Kingman Palmyra, it seemed like there was an organic yeah, signature of some kind, like a detritus signature. Um, because there were you, there were a, evidence of, of pigments in those, and uh, that would be from like from from phytoplankton in the surface ocean that have pigments for harnessing light energy, but uh, that don't that exist down here. here. Oh yeah, maybe? what's that? But I can't. But you can't. Maybe here. That, yeah, it's very small. Zoom in, fellas. Because sometimes it's to see the triclops and see there. Yeah, the triclops makes it look like big and exciting. There's another castle. Another sand castle. Okay, come sand. wide, please. Castles in the sand. If you see in cinema cam, though, that the round balls, they're very fluffy and light, and they immediately take off when we're nearby or they get um, influenced by the thrusters. So I think that they're probably Whoa. like light, squishy detritus some sediment. Yeah, not not sediment piles. Yeah. Jump ahead here. For some reason today I keep hearing cinnamon cam. Yeah. I think Tim said Just that. Tim oh, said cinnamon, cinnamon. and I was like I like that. Let's brain. keep that going. <laughs> yeah, cuz it's spicy. Well, cinnamon cinnamon cinnamon. 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 Okay, I'm rolls. just going to let this ship move run out um so we can get caught up. Looks like there is maybe We're Swinging so way behind the. See if. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, if we're approaching the wall or something. Yeah, no. so we'll just approach it a little cautiously. Okay. Sounds good. Someone in the chat is asking Are there birds hanging around the ship? Um, there have been. Was that yesterday we saw all those birds? There were some early, uh, yeah. like around dinner time. There was almost an egret looking bird around yeah. earlier this afternoon. Really? Yeah, I don't know exactly what type of bird it was, but it had, you know, it was white with long waiting legs. Interesting. Narrow, narrow beak. Huh. But mostly we've seen the boobies, right? Boobies. The blue footed boobies. Not uh, blue footed, orange footed boobies. Red footed red, boobies. Red footed. Red footed. Yeah. I just see a color. Mm -hmm. I see. There is some terns as well. Terns. Mm. Yeah. 
Oh, have yeah. you seen some turns? I haven't seen the turns. I feel like I saw them earlier in the trip. What's that on the right? Mm. Is it crawling it's along? It looks it like it. Can oh, it's a big in? shrimp, I bet. That is the it hugest is. shrimp I've ever seen. That yeah. is a big shrimp. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. That's like, that's a full skewer. You it's can't a, even it's a like full shish a 13 bob. centimeter that Aristea shrimp. That's basically a lobster. It's really interesting how it's moving. Oh my god. Yeah, because usually they're swimming and using those kind of modified paddle-like He's too fat to back, swim. He but sinks. this one is Big. crawling. Oh my god. It's like a cat. Maybe he's... What? It's like 10 it's inches, 15 inches. Uh, not 15 it's inches, like a, a cat. <laughs> and look uh, at its size. 15 <laughs> centimeters. Look at its really yeah, long it's longer. antennae that it has streaming out in front of and behind it. I think so it knows we've been doing a shrimp count, so it's like, I'll oh, give yeah. you This it. counts as three, <laughs> like, at least. Yeah, because the shrimp ate two other shrimp. Yeah, it's like, the 100%. shrimp is huge. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let me zoom out, please. Yeah, it's, and a little eel. I think that's due oh, to, yeah, like, it's like bigger than the fish. fish. Oh. Going up and down. Well, all yeah. Smaller than the, it's smaller than the shrimp. That gives you perspective. That shrimp is crazy big. Oh, the shrimp is huge. Okay. Yeah, it'd be best if you can get in front of me. I'm much faster than you. Um, the Aristea, it's not hugely important, but is with A in the beginning. Mm, no, no, A, okay. Oh, and this oh, is the, the shrimp. tiny shrimp. And there's, <laughs> the, yeah, opposite end of the spectrum there. Man, a 15 centimeter shrimp, that's big. <laughs> Michael said it looks like a full skewer. Full skewer. <laughs> Michael, you're getting credit for my jokes. <laughs> oh, was that you, James? Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I think that was him. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I didn't. I didn't say much on that one. I like that you were going to take uh, the credit, though. The I didn't know what was being said. Sure. Yeah, he doesn't have his headset oh, on. There's a uh, stuff uh, coming up to the. Think? So if you can get. Yeah. In uh, to the other side of me. Yeah. Oh yeah, rocks. Rocks. Here. Oh, that's low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Interesting flat, broken rocks. I don't know. We'll see soon what that is, if these are like heavily sedimented sheets or, I don't know. I'll zoom in. So. Oh yeah. What are sea you? Pig. Sea pig. Yep, sea pig. Bridge now. Can we have three zero meters, two two zero point three knots? Just standing in on tippy toes. Thank you. Can come wide, please. The way that this low seems to be oriented is when you look at like the path that we're going and the contours relative to Herc, it's like almost in the opposite direction I would expect that line to be. Sticker bone. Stick. <laughs> Stark of a sponge. Mm. Oh, weird. Yeah. This is a different texture. Yeah, it's like, I mean, some kind of lava flow feature, but. It's cool. It's definitely different Warmer. than ones we've seen before. Yeah. Super interesting. Oh, trip. Trip. Another one. Mm -hmm. 
So none of this is looking great yet, but um, we would at some point if there's like good loose rocks near coming up at some point, would like to take one. Roger. So would these be considered sheet flows? That's what I would call them. But again, can you do a thingy? Not a geologist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you do a thingy off the off the ledge here? Can you can you ollie on top? <laughs> you let me grind it. Yeah. No oh, skateboarding with the ROV. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Just did a, just do, do a reverse thingy. <laughs> I just did a kickflip. You can't see it though. <laughs> do you remember the um oh were they Parkour. called tech decks? Yes, the those are finger, great. Finger skateboards. <laughs> yeah, I got a I got a Ninja Turtle one at Comic Con this People year. People got really good at those in school. Oh yeah. yeah what a waste of time, right? Yeah. Few of them. yeah. <laughs> Could we look closer? Yeah. Just because you weren't here? good at it. Um, like right there. That was amazing. There. Yeah, it was such a waste of time. <laughs> it that looks like that might be a little cup coral. <laughs> yeah, I got a Ninja Turtle one at Comic Con this year. They were just Is giving it out. It's part of the swag bag. I think. Cool. Well, it's hard to see. Where to go? I lost it. It's at the bottom. I think it's, yeah, down. Right there. Uh, oh. Where did it go? Sorry, that's the. Oh, oh, so you can zoom back in, Panos. That was just me with the pan it's and tilt. To immediately to the right of the lasers right now. Oh, here. It's right there. Oh, that's. A very strangely shaped cup coral. It is one. How? Like How? Ruffles, you know? How it do you all look see like that? A cup coral. <laughs> but I don't think it's a cup coral. Yeah. How do you all see that? <laughs> it takes me like 10 seconds to find it. Okay, <laughs> we can move on. So probably I could be... Oh, oh. A lot of these, like these bulges could be like the xenophyophores. Yeah. Um, bridge like now. Yeah, different shape. Whoa, okay. Three zero two two zero, please. Thank you. It's another one there. Can you zoom in? That's incredible. Landscape. Yeah. Oh no, it's just. No, I, th I think you're right. There's stuff on it. Yeah. They are xenophyophores, probably. Mm. Which again are single-celled organisms wide, please? that um, build this sort of house out of the sediment around them. So I know in our dive plan, we're um, exploring this area because it's a pr proposed seamount exploration and a priority target. Do you all know if this area has been explored before? I can find that out. It's the visibility is so great. Like you can see really in the triclops um, very far away, like really clear water. Someone in the chat is mentioning tech decks that give off sparks. Oh, oh yes. Oh. It's exactly what kids need to be able to set fires. Just attach mighty mites to your tech deck. It's, the, it's rocket boosters. It's rocket boosters. <laughs> bottle rockets. Sounds like so a recall waiting to happen. Sounds like fun. Wow. What not to do. Yeah. You know, unless you're under the, the supervision of an adult. Uh, I take that back. Unless you're under the supervision of a responsible adult. <laughs> um, Lynette, <laughs> do you know if we had this area mapped already? I think it was already mapped, right? Yeah, that's right. It was already mapped. Yeah, so that looks cool. Do we know whose um, data it was? Uh, Get a bigger view. I don't know that. Okay. Well, so potentially explored. Potentially, well, mapped at least. Yeah. But maybe not. Likely not explored at least on the side where we are. Yeah. I was at that meeting. I think they were talking about like just looking at the age of these. Yeah. Seamounts. And again, just the formation, trying to figure out if there's carbonate on top or if there's carbonate and then another layer of volcanic rock that might indicate um, support Rob's sort of theory of there being 
secondary eruptions that create features on top of these flat-topped seamounts. That's really Making interesting. Making them not just flat, yeah. So like a seamount on top of a seamount? Yeah, ki kind of, like another like something added, added bulges and textures that um, are on top of what has somehow weathered down already. That's really interesting. From a previous eruption. There is a stick there, just in front. Oh yeah, on the right. Stick? Stick? It's, it's Where? somewhere, yeah, if we could get closer to where the lasers are. It's here. Lasers. Oh yeah. Just coming to the end of our I laser, so it. give us a sec. Okay. It's right above the lasers. Maybe a bamboo core. Maybe. Yeah, there is. I see it. I see it. Zoom in. Can't see it until you look in the cinema cam, and then oh, thing. Yeah, it does look like a bamboo. We'll get closer. I don't see the lines, but it is. It's got the like pinky, pinky polyps, and not primnoid orientation. So. And a shrimp. Lots of shrimp. Bridge now. Three zero two two zero, please. One liter. Oh yeah. There. Tiny shrimp at the I'm base. Such a nice steady oh. shot. Ah. I spoke too soon. <laughs> so I moved it. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, 2800, and we're seeing our first coral, so that's great. 2806. Pretty cool. Go, 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 go. Can we come wide, please? Oh, Thank you. So we're going to fly by. Yeah, nice view from the cinema cam. Uh, wait. Go oh, too close. Another stick there? Probably. Oh! The crinoid. Oh yeah, another crinoid. Also, we're calling things out, but if you have to get ahead, that's okay. Okay, for the moment. It's right there. Yeah, I can see it in the cinema cam. Oh, there right, it is. right there. Yeah. Uh, zoom in. Let's see is this if the same as what we saw. Yeah. It does look the same. Yeah, you can see the alternating, which I think was bathycrinidine. Is that what we put? Bathycrinidine? For the crinid, yeah. Mm -hmm. With hydroids growing on the stalk. So are they called pinules when they're crinoids? The way they are with corals? Um, I think so, yeah. And the, it's nice the little branches is, is, is arms, and the little branches in the branches, the pinions. 
can really see why they call them sea lilies. They look I just like say, lilies. It looks just like a flower. Probably because one of its arms is kind of coming out and it yeah. looks almost like a pistol or a stamen. Yeah. Right, yeah. Zoom out, please. Squid. Squid. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like swales and ridges of these rocky features with sediment in, in mm -hmm. between. Bridge, yeah, yeah. It's so filled in. Three zero two two zero. Thank you. It looks like it's going to get steeper soon. what they tell us. Remember that one time that it looked like it was going to be a saddle <laughs> and it was actually sheer wall for like an hour? <laughs> Multiple like yeah, like broken spires. features. Spires, yeah. yeah like that was pillars. Crazy. That was wild. That was That's where those sponges were, right? Yeah. 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 Amazing. Amazing sponges. Yeah, the ones we didn't get to see because we were right there. And then we had to turn it over because that's just our luck. Ah, they were still well, cool. We, we, were saw, pretty cool. So we saw a lot many. of cool stuff. <laughs> we just didn't see the Mondo The Volkswagen. No. Oh, you didn't see? Yeah, we didn't see the hulked out ones. Very roughly. I somehow missed that. Yeah. You were you were bed bound. Yeah, nothing was, was like stopping you. Yeah. You, y'all are, I uh, like, we walk downstairs and you're like, all right, time to post up in front of in the lounge and oh, keep we don't watching last it. Long. I'm like, you're we were just about to fall asleep. You're upstairs. an inspiration. <laughs> we don't last long. We're just hyped, hyped on the science. <laughs> oh. There's no way it I could do was, that. Was yeah. So, no, but it was so interesting. So the, I, we wanted to see what's the rest of the move, you know. Like right. Can we zoom in, Paus? I'm like, you're always going to miss something good. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, never mind. Thought like, I saw something. I did. It was just rocks. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I think. I don't know. A lot of these white bulges are probably those unified fours. I haven't. I've been looking for rocks. I haven't forgotten. Um, yeah, I, I don't just haven't really seen any. I haven't any. seen anything this loose or. Yeah. Bit bigger structures. But I don't know if it's um uh, uh, it's my impression it's looks where what, where are you looking at on the cinema cam? Yeah, past but I think it was it was the same sometimes. Okay. <sighs> so technically is it Friday night? No. It's all Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday morning? Yeah. We should all be watching cartoons right now. Aw. What cartoon would you watch if you oh, could? Oh, Pokemon, hands down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not even a question. You know that uh, the main character, uh, Ash, is gone now. I know. Did you out? know Ash was uh -huh. played by a girl? Yeah. She's, I think she's been doing the voice ever since. Yeah, I should. Yeah. Uh, it's like this whole time. Yeah. The whole, the whole, the whole the time. entire series, yeah. The it's entire 26 like years. 2000, dead sponge, whatever it came yeah. out. What about the one with Jackie Chan? The animated Jackie Chan Morsey series? Oh, Jackie Chan Adventures. Yeah, yeah. That's such a good show. That was great. I love that show. What cereal would you eat while you're watching cartoons? Reese's Puffs. Mm. Oh my gosh, Rennie brought some of those. I noticed those. That's what <laughs> I saw them. those the other day. I was like, but you can eat those? the whole box in like three bites. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a very thin box, very misleading. But that's like what we used to eat. Shrinkflation. Oh, what's this? Is there yeah. something on the on the right? If, if would yeah, it just under just the lasers? The rock, I don't though. know. It could just be a row of rocks. Yeah, I think it's just <laughs> like a crack in the rock. Yeah, discoloration on the rocks. We can zoom in there. One more thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll zoom out. A ridge. Weird, why? <laughs> Something crawled over it, maybe. Yeah. Cleaned it up. Come on. So we had a fun conversation about cereal earlier. Do you all pour your milk or your cereal first? Okay, that your like who cereal, puts, who puts milk in the bowl first? That's, like, that's psychotic. 
You do that when you're That's when you're something. tired or something. There are multiple people on the boat who put milk first and then. What? Oh my cereal. gosh, we're sailing oh with murderers. Oh my gosh, yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> there might be one person in this room that does that. Oh my god. The net. Walk the plank. Not me. Walk the plank. <laughs> oh, what's that? Zoom that stick. Can you turn on the down lights, please? Uh -oh. Is it a little jelly? Oh, it's moving so fast. What are it you? It's moving fast. What is that? It, it is it's a, a hyd Hydra Medusa. Oh, cool. It's like flipping itself over yeah, to swim away from us. It was going Very so small. fast for a second there. Ooh. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's in the Atalanta. You can see it in oh, Atalanta. Wow. It's so beautiful. What noise do you think that makes if it makes a noise? Oh, right now? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. No, I like the waka, waka, waka. <laughs> <laughs> the Pac-Man. <laughs> That's so beautiful. It yeah, can really you see famous. it in Adelina? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really dancing around. So, so they have oh, this layer, like the clear layer that goes from the bottom of the bell inward. It's called the vellum. And that's something that hydroids have in their medusa form that normal jellyfish don't really have. That like shelf under... If it flips around again, you can kind of see. It's really cool. Yeah. There you go. This I could probably watch pictures. this for hours, actually. I know. Oh, at the Vancouver Aquarium, like, they have a three. huge tank just full of jellyfish. Really? And there's, like, there's a slow current that oh, they just kind of like circle, that. and it's, yeah. it, it's mesmerizing. They have something like that at it's completely um, mesmerizing. Monterey, too. I think I stood in front of it and took pictures of it for like 20 minutes. Okay, we, uh, we should get going. Yeah, we can move on. We zoom out, please. Bye, Hydro Bye, Bye, bye. Bloop, bloop. Someone in the chat says this is much better than cartoons. Thank you. Uh -huh. I don't know, have you seen uh, Jackie Chan Have you seen a cartoon <laughs> lately? <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good. They're pretty good. And it's another bamboo coral. Someone else Oh, there's something in Atalanta. Oh, sorry, I'll hold on. Oh, no, you're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that a shrimp? Like yeah, that's really close to Atalanta, fish? though. Fish? Oh, we don't need to go look at them. No, we can't. <laughs> we would not be able to. Maybe it's Boom. a jelly. Stick. Stick. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm going to find one one, one so of these times. Stick, stock, stock, or... Stick, stock, or bone. It's like Chitoplura. It's not an option. What is it? Oh. Someone else in the chat says, Reese Puffs is the only cereal that is just as good with and without milk. That is true. So the, I will defend the milk <laughs> pourers Reese's just for a second. Reese's for breakfast. Oh, so you no, no. I, you, absolutely not. It's you. <laughs> the only time you should, the only time, the oh only God. time, the wow, only time. Just, I'm just defending no, the only for a time friend. The when, only time no, you should have milk in the bowl hey. before your thing. All right, everybody. Is when you're refilling down. your bowl. Yeah, you yeah. finish the cereal. Down. I was going to say is when you're checking whether the milk is okay to use because you don't want to pour sour milk onto cereal. Oh, yeah, that's oh I do that bowl. check prior. Yeah, that. you smell it. That's a, that's a waft milk. test. <laughs> right, I was trying like to any help. other chemical. I was trying to defend Haisa. No, no. Who I just oh, 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 throw her, her under the bus there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awfully quiet over here. <laughs> we have something on the right um, sticking up on that ridge there. What? Oh, another crinoid. Can you zoom in there? Oh, it's not Maybe. a Reese's Puff. Oh, is it a Venus flytrap in a mini? Oh, it is. It's Whoa, not wow. a, yeah, it's not a crinoid. It is, it's a Venus flytrap. Is that on a primnoid? Um, Looks if we like zoomed in, we could take a better look at what is oh, wow. below it. Oh, this is oh, interesting. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Spongy? It does look, oh gosh. I don't know. Looks like the elder one. Like it almost <laughs> looks like. Is there any way to get a little closer and, and it's gonna break? Yeah. Zoom again, quick. Zoom yep. Can we zoom out, please? Like it almost looks like when you when you bring a primnoid up and its polyps are all closed, except that it looks way bigger than that, and I don't Much see bigger. the individual polyps. Yeah. But. But it's so well spaced, like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. No, it's really the distance is. Yeah, it's not just something growing over something. It looks like that's actually the thing itself. All right, can we zoom in there? You can go as much as you want. 
So you don't think that looks spongy at all? Um, it does. You turn the down lights on. Kind of, but. What is a little snail there too on the rock? Oh yeah. Could we? Oh, there's a snail. And something else down below on the rock. Oh, yeah. Could we look up just a little bit above the Venus flytrap? I don't know if that'll give us any other clues. Um, huh, it's, it's like yellow, but dry. still that spacing. I don't know. That's very hard to tell. Mm. But good imagery. Thank I you. I feel like we've seen something Zoom like out, this please. before that looks like a kebab kind of a kebab really? sponge thing. <laughs> kebab, a kebab sponge. sponge. I like it. Yeah. I'm gonna. I don't, I don't know what it's called though. Look into that. I don't know. I. It doesn't. Not the corn dog sponge, probably. Corn dog yeah, not sponge. The corn dog. The kebab. It's like a corn dog sponge if somebody took a bite. Are you gonna get moving? Spaced. Already moving there, bud. Leela, if we can go back to for just a little bit, what does Medusa form mean? Oh, um, that means uh. the jellyfish-like <laughs> form. So jellies are in the same group as corals, the same larger group, but corals and anemones and things like that, they have oh, polyps, which is basically like if you took an anemone and you, f or a There's like a, a big thing over it, like a, a jelly. big rock. Yeah. Yeah, really big rock over here. If you took a jelly and flipped it upside down, You're literally right with next the to tentacles it. sticking up. So, oh, okay. Uh, so the Medusa form, hydroids can have both polyp and Medusa form, which is a cool thing about that group in different parts oh, of their life get cycle. Position. Or yeah, even at the going. same time. Um, but so that was the. I mean, yeah, you can go up and over. The Medusa jelly looking form of that hydroid. Cool. But yeah, it's like, there's, yeah, that's a huge formation. Like you wow, yeah, these rocks are big. We got to chat. The energy and excitement that y'all give off is awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Thank oh, you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. <laughs> Question in the chat is: Has have any of you done the sleeping with fishes experiences at an aquarium? Oh, no. oh, like sleeping, uh, like camping at an aquarium. That sounds or sleeping super sleeping nice. Bags? Sleeping with the fishes has a totally different meaning. Yeah. yeah. No, no, like that involves yeah. yeah. concrete boots. <laughs> I wish that I had. Oh, no, because it. <laughs> oh. Bridge now. Five zero two three zero, please. Thank oh, we're you. coming up on waypoint five. Yeah, we've already. <laughs> For the first five. time ever, we are making <laughs> we <got> progress. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time. Who are we? Ever. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Excellent. I don't know the song, but you really hit those notes. I can tell. I do it again. <laughs> Is that Frozen? Uh, it sounded like Frozen. Yes. <laughs> My toddlers love that movie. And I hate it because I've seen it a thousand times. Yeah. I like the newer yeah. one, though. Do you know any of the songs on piano? Oh, there is something here. Oh, Sponge? Um, I don't, uh, actually. A sponge on the left. Oh, yeah. Hold yeah. on a sec here. I mean, it's no Shrek, but it's still it's an okay movie. It was really well done. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, if we could look at the sponge. Yeah, not the dead one, I'm assuming? Yeah, the dead Zoom. one. Oh, the dead one? Okay. See what dead sponge it is, or if we can tell. Or a dead. Mm. I don't know. It's like a hydra like or something. Yeah, it was some kind of, of a vase, and it does look yeah. like there's like a tubularian or something growing out of it. Okay, we can move on. Thanks. What's this one? Zoom in. The white thing? Yeah. Ooh, it's yeah. like a tiny, tiny hylostylus, I think. Is that a sponge? Yeah, it is. And I've never seen one that's so small on such a long stalk before, though. Kind of looks like a Isn't tulip. beautiful? Yeah, it does. They're like little bells. 
Oh, that's pretty. Great. Marshmallow. Yeah. Marshmallow Thank you. on a stick. Mm. Oh, yeah, it does look like a marshmallow. Like One of the tiny ones. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> that are melted together downstairs. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Are they? The whole bag is one marshmallow now. <laughs> <laughs> was it, was out, it like please? in the window? Basically? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we should snack on that tonight. That would definitely keep us We up. can make a massive s'more. <laughs> <laughs> one s'more. <laughs> It'd probably, probably be good for like Rice Krispies treats if we had any Rice Krispies. True. Ooh, that's true. Reese's Puff treats. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds actually really good. So my teeth are hurting from all, all that right, sugar. All right, it is way too early to be talking about food. Oh yeah, we gotta wait till three thirty. I don't think that oh, qualifies as food. <laughs> Put it in your mouth hole. It's food. <laughs> yeah. You Here, take this it. mouse. <laughs> There's like another, either a mound or something coming up to the right to the starboard side. Yeah, you can see it. It doesn't look like the same color rock on the left side. Just be covered in sediment. Could on we the side? wait? Could we? No, I'm just kidding. I think it's just the colors. But could we look real quick at like these ripples that are the white looking patches? Uh, can we uh, zoom in, Paul? I think it's just bioturbation. Like something moved through there. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. It almost looked like a mat, which would have been absurd. Yeah, I, I thought so too. But yeah. I was like, what? I know. <laughs> Is almost, that? Almost got way more <laughs> exciting. I mean, that thing's going to beat the like, microbial mat fields out like out of Santa Barbara. Oh my gosh. It was yeah. like ridiculous. The ones that we saw on the Ca Cascadia margin further north too, we found one that was like, like 90 square meters of just like fluffy mat continuously. It was crazy. Shrimp. Shrimp. Sorry, I hear a squeak back there. Squeak. Squeak. Squeak, squeaking, squeak, squeakity. Squeak, squeakers. Squeaker time. This is, so these flows, so many. yeah, they come in there? like so straight down the seamount. The bulges are like... Oh, what is that? It's a it's fossil a of someone's spine. It's a, a, it's a, it's a stick. Spine. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's a jump scare. Oh. That's bigger oh. than the other one. Oh, look at <laughs> Talking about a photo bomb. Jeez. That was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Bridge nav. The suction sampler on next time. Yeah. It's as big as the so lucky. Two, three, zero, please. It's bigger than the sample than the, than the I don't the jar. think that, that two, three, zero. Bohemoth one we saw, I don't think that would have fit in there. Thank you. Yeah, probably the chonky the, the chonker one, yeah. <laughs> the one that goes to the gym. <laughs> That's the one Yeah, he's that squid that uh, that shrimp and SpongeBob that's yeah. always <laughs> in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> the gym. Did we mark Larry. when we got near weight point five grade things? No, there's a little, little right. something, I think. What's that? Um, could we actually look at the rock on the left? Yeah. Like kind of the left? ledge where it almost looks like it's falling apart. Yeah. Oh, right there where it looks yeah, like a stick? Just, that, just this edge right here. I just want to see can you zoom in? if you can almost see like the fractured inside or... It kind of looks like a really strange composition. Are you thinking there might be carbonate it's or like something? like some whiteness to it. It's yeah. like far too deep for that, but it, it, it does look, it looks not encrusted so much. Yeah, it looks like whatever, it, it, you can see like the underlying altered rock or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's kind of weird and whitey. It's a good shot in those. It almost looks like yeah. it was scraped or something. Right. Some it, spots. It does look like weathered. Hmm, is that a bone? Looks a bit like a bone, doesn't it? It looks a little bony, doesn't I it? Yeah. I'm sure it's not. On the left? Uh, no. All right. Yeah. Craft coming on. <laughs> <laughs>
No. Sure just yeah, check it out. Uh, it looks like a rock. Maybe we should pick Actually, it up. Actually, yeah, it's Let's a rock. It's a rock. Let's it's pick it definitely up. a rock. Let's pick that 100% up. 100% a rock. It is a really weird thing. I it is know. a peculiar rock. It's a rock with a story, this one. <laughs> All you right, move, moving along. Can we zoom out, please? All right. A rock okay. with a story. Fossils are rocks. <laughs> Yeah, that's what geologists say, don't they? We had a whole like, yeah, whole debate last last cruise when we thought we only had collected one fossilized whale bone. We were like, does it go to to the geology repository or does it go to the biology repository? And uh, there's a lot of argument, and then and then we collected multiple you more. <laughs> you zoom in, Panos. Never mind, zoom out. Thought it was something it is other. A, it oh, is there's a little something. sea star beside it. Really? I zoom in. Oh, there's quite a bit of boulders to, to the port side. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah a little ophiroid. Yep, little star. star. There's cool. a fish. Thank you. Zoom out, please. That's why. There we go. Thought it felt. Thought it felt funny. Are you racked out? They may have racked. No, oh. I'm racked out. It was just. Uh, it was turned off to the side, so it wasn't uh, going look, straight. Wasn't making it. Look at the sheer cliff to the side to the port side. Sheer cliff. What an hour. Wow, it's already been an hour. It's only been an hour. It's all been an hour. But already. Oh, now what happened? I mean, wow, it's only been an hour. Tramp. Sure. Tramp. Are we getting to like the center of the earth or something? These are particularly big. <laughs> Um, so actually, Paula, before she went to bed, chimed in on that first big shrimp we saw and said that there was a specific ID f that she thought it might be, which was Acanthophyra. If that means anything to you. Acanthophyra? Acanthophyra. Acanthophyra. Acanthophyra must be union. Genus of shrimp. Species that live between zero to more than 5,000 meters. Which one was she? You think like she was talking about one of the big ones? Yeah, she chimed in right when we saw that really first big one that we said was the size of a cat, <laughs> <laughs> which I stand by. I don't, I don't think it was one of those. But actually, there are some that look a little like that. I have to say, <laughs> most shrimp kind of look the same to me. Yeah. Wow. Unless they're spot rounds. I know. And they got spots. I'm admitting it here now, in front of America and the world. <laughs> but you see these like really distinctive. We always yeah. see those. I'm pretty Bridge sure. Now. We can pull up some imagery of it. Five zero two three zero, please. Yeah. Oh yeah. Weird. Lots of sponge stocks. And then how did they make it here? That means there's exciting stuff up ahead is what it means. Or directly above. Or directly above because there's, there's a rock face. Really there's a rock sense. formation oh. to the port side. We are going oh, directly above. Are we though? I mean, well, right. Who who can tell what the features are down here actually? Our our map is makes it look like it doesn't go steeper that way, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's not really steeper. It's just different. Well, let's go over here. It doesn't really seem like the um, contours get all that close together until waypoint six, with one exception. Yeah. Slowly working our way up to steepness. <sighs> Making me on. It's kind of like. Leading up to six, oh. it gets a little steeper, sure. and then it, it 
flattens out sort of like this again. Not flattens, but becomes less steep. The texture of these rocks is really interesting. It's like ripples. Yeah, we were over some some things that almost had like these kind of linear ridges. There's a oh, stick you're, here. Uh, you're muted. Another you're muted, one of those docks. There's a stick right here. Hey, so you're yeah. muted. Thanks. Thanks, Michael. Oh, I can't nice. see it at all in the main cam. I know. Well, there it is. Hey, so you're on mute. They kind of look like like holiday decorations or something. Yeah. Can you zoom in? Can you turn on the down lights, please? Oh, weird. It's a shish kebab sponge. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard to see. Um, yeah, it is. Would it be possible to snip that and slurp it up? Yep. Snip and come wide, please. Bridge now. Can we hold position, please? Thank you. Uh, How are you feeling, Mike? You want to give yes. it a try or do you want me to do it? No, give me a second. I'm just prepping. It's okay if we need to like grab it and then keep moving and slurp later. Uh, do we have any jars like uh, already? Or no, no. Cause we, we no. haven't done anything. We have nothing in any of our boxes or jars. Right. All right, just get yourself a position and I'll go ahead and do it. Man, it's hard to see. Yeah, it is right under the lasers. But it's it's kind of like you know things like this that you that are so hard to see, that probably have not been sampled very often because sure. most people just fly right over them. We happen to have this weird camera angle. Did we spot it in the cinema cam? Is that how yeah. we saw it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it had a crinoid on it. The first one we saw. Uh. Or uh, no, uh, anemone. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, all right. Am I good to come in? Yeah, buddy. It's all set up, sir, in front of you. It's within reach. All right. Slurps there. Just Where like is it at? Uh, right in the middle. Remember about the what side the knives are on. Oh. Really, we're losing pressure. I can't see where it's at. It's right over here. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Just the top 15 to 20 centimeters of that would be great. Flip. Yeah. Do. Uh -oh. Uh oh, uh oh, let it go. It's sliding. You didn't get it in the in the knife. It's just sliding through. You're you're ripping the polyps off. Ah, uh. there you go. Weird. It does not want to break. Oh my goodness. Could you take a little less of it? I don't know if it's possible. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, you got it. It snipped. Nice. Come wide, please. Come wide. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. All right. You're putting it in slurp uh, seven? Looking like you're yes. bouncing a little low. Yeah, we're um, it's pressure. using pressure because we're using uh, like everything at once. So yep. I just can't do it. I don't know Suction's if I'm right in front of it. No, you're Data, what sample number is that? 193. 193. Thank you. Hey, hold on, let me try to get the vehicle back. <laughs> oh when I said bouncing, God. I meant uh, Atalanta. I don't know if you oh. were looking at that. That's okay. Uh,
Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna come off the, the, the ground. Do you want to bring Atalanta Delta up a hair? Is that camera? You do do you yeah, focus yeah, yeah. on what you're doing. <sighs> Come on, get oh, in there. there. So close. There you go. Yeah. Let it go. Is it in there? Yeah. yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. it's got it. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Is Atalanta camera zoomed in? Yes. No, no pull it up. Bring Wait. it up. Get out of there. Okay, we have the rest here. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the sample. Bridge now. I haven't been able to get it back. Let's um. Three zero two three zero, please. Thank you. Are you still feeling a... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. It, ever since we... Uh, yes. Suction is off. Yes, please. Yes. Shoot. I want to even come back a little bit. Or do you think... Uh, It'll be fine. You just do what you're doing. You're fine. Oh my goodness. What? I'm just looking at the pressure gauges. We're good. Yeah. No, you're scaring me there for a second. No, uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking Don't at bring up these gauges and then say, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm looking at the gauge, the same gauges that you look over there, but it's just, like, wild because it's the, we're losing pressure. Uh. Already did. Um... We're getting there. As soon as I can see it, I'll turn around. Flying backwards, flying backwards. That's the lowest I've seen it. Was that nine? It basically dropped out of bypass. It basically went in back into bypass. It was it went below three hundred psi. That's the worst. Of, that's the that was yeah. That's the worst I've seen it. All right, I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. It looks like a little colophagus. Right, I'm gonna zoom in there. Been seeing all these tiny, teeny, tiny sponges. Oh, 
A shadow effect made me think there was like four of them. Yeah, yeah. a little bouquet of sponges. Yeah, take notes, guys. If it's not a bouquet of sponges, I don't <laughs> want it. Glass I sponges, can buy specifically. Sponges. Yeah. <laughs> and sea lilies. Oh, we got Miley in the house. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> sea lilies, yeah. That would actually be beautiful. It would you be. You should get Stephanie to draw that. And it would also make me sad. Be like, this isn't for science. Yeah, but if it was a drawing, that'd be nice. A drawing of a bouquet of sea lilies. All right, That's pressure went out during sample. We'd probably get the boat going again. Around as low as 300 psi. Yeah. Which pressure Thank gauge is, is that that you're looking at, just out of curiosity? Sorry? What was that? What question? What was that? Just out of curiosity, which pressure gauge is that that you're looking at? Uh, you don't so see it. Yeah, it's on the GUI. It's on the, the GUI. Main? Uh, no, the main? The main? That's a comp. That's the compensator. No, no, uh, on the main. GUI, it, the one that says... Uh, it's here. You don't see it. It's not on your... No, I, I have your screen up, too. I'm oh, right I'm here. Main hydraulic main. P. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Main hydraulic pressure. Okay. Oh, so zoom like out, a tenth of what it is now? Yes. Yeah, yeah wow. and that's why we had no, I could, couldn't even control what was happening. Yeah, I also noticed that too, because like. Is this a good time to check in with our viewers from the chat? Mm -hmm. Got a couple comments. My shrimp tank and I are watching on two big screens in Australia, party hard Saturday night. Oh, nice. <laughs> Did they have the jump scare when the shrimp came into view all of a sudden too? Yeah. <laughs> the shrimp were like, oh my like God. Like large oh. screen. I might have to be oh, tune in for, for swipe watch on a Friday night. Oh, what's that? I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> Is this a siphonophore? I can't tell it's yet. It's too sand colored. Wow. What? Maybe just a jelly. I want to no, say like siphonophore know. sounds like a good guess, except it only has one Medusa polyp or maybe two at the top. It doesn't look like a whole nectophore, but it definitely has like a long String oh, behind need. it that looks like different zoids. It almost looks like a tenophore. Tenophore. But with only one. Very cool. Huh. It looks more like a hydrozoan. Siphonophore like. I but think we reached so weird. the steepiness. It's a super strange jelly. So you said it has one nectophore, and that's what makes you think not a siphonophore, but a hydro. N no, uh, siphonophores are hydrozoans. Um, the nectophore usually has a bunch of nectosomes, and each nectosome is like a like a Medusa polyp that does jet propulsion. And there's usually just a whole row of them, and it's weird that there's only one. But it does then have like the string that looks like a string of polyp form other zoids in the colony doing other things. Mm. Uh, but I don't know. I haven't seen something like this before. Interesting. Zoom in. No. We can move on whenever okay. you need to. Okay, zoom out. And we had a uh, polychaete in the dry clubs. Where? Past already, just for Jane to take note. Hmm? There was uh, a polychaete in the dry clubs. Yeah, I don't have a great view of triclops from where I'm sitting, unfortunately, but thank you for letting me know. I'll note it. Leela, we have a question in the chat about the samples that are taken. What do you mm -hmm. do with them? We eat them. No. There it is. <laughs> um, Bridge now. When, whenever the samples come back on, or whenever Hercules three comes zero back on deck, two three zero, please. we go out and we usually thank prioritize you. the... Um, bio samples because they're more sensitive to the temperature change as, as they come up, not as much the pressure, but the temperature. Um, 
another one of those maybe sponges. Uh -huh. And um, so we get those in the fridge right Here's away in water, in the water that they came up with. And then, and then we bring the rocks in afterward. And then we process the bio samples first too. And processing for us um, means picking the best method to preserve each sample. Um, that might be ethanol sometimes. Ethanol is good, especially if you plan on using it for genetic work to sequence it and figure out exactly what it is. Um, if it's something that's soft bodied or where the morphology, the shape of the body is really important to, to describing what it is, then that might go into formalin at first, which uh, kind of fixes the cells in a different way. Um, sometimes things get frozen. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple different options for how we preserve things. And then we also have scientists ashore who have requested specific subsamples of specific types of animals. And so uh, we'll take, you know, subsample SNPs for different organizations that have requested that to be able to do their work, which some oftentimes is sequencing. And so the, the way that you preserve those is based on what they're going to be doing with them right. when they receive them, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then I'm kind of already organizing uh, shipping all these samples off for at the end of the cruise. So that's... Um, compiling all the information about every sample and passing that along to our repositories, which are then where we long-term store um, our biological and geological samples and where scientists can then request access to those samples um, to be able to work with them in the future. Thank you. Yeah. The shrimp are definitely hanging out with us tonight or this morning. Looks like there might be some sort of ridge or something coming up here, right? I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> uh, it gets steeper yeah, for a little, little, little near waypoint yeah. six, but. but this just looks kind of like a ledge or a, a bump. Oh, I think oh, you're just looking at the little like double well, line. Yeah, the double isobeth. <laughs> well, you're, are you looking at high pack? Yes, I feel yeah, like so that's just contours like laid over each other. We have two layers yeah. in there. One oh, is ten, okay. 10 meter contours and we have 100 meter contours. Interesting. So yeah, you can think of those as one line. So you see those two lines every 10? Like, yeah, yeah. Those because those it's over 100. I gotcha. I thought it was maybe like a super a step steep. up. Yeah. yeah. A terrace. Bridge now. 50230, zero, zero, please. Thank you. No sea pens. What's the deal? It's all the sediment, too. The yeah. sediment there. Yeah, Ooh, a fish. A fish. fish. Let's look at its hood. Take a guess. Basagagus Cuskiel. I don't know. That's my guess. Yeah. Yeah, it looks think. a lot like the ones we've seen that that mm -hmm. same ID. Yeah. That's Scar the one we called Scarface's cousin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they he always look so wild. It is very eerie looking. It looks like their skeleton oh. is just poking out of their head. Oh, yeah, the one with the mask looking eyes. Ones. Their eyes look completely. Wow. That's a really good out picture of it right there. Yeah, it is. It's like a Pokemon. Everything's a Pokemon. <laughs> How does that look like a Pokemon? It just looks weird. Oh. Looks like a ghost Pokemon. Yeah, I can see that. Ah, yeah. that's Ooh, oh, really wow. good. <laughs> it's not trying to swim away from us. Yeah. It's bad got bad. a small something on its side, it amphipod does. or something. Let me zoom in. If you can, let's see if we can get. It's so coming closer.
Oh, is it going to run into the bottom? <laughs> like the one the other day. Uh, yeah, seems well. like a good chance. Oops. <laughs> yeah, bunk. <laughs> and yet, and yet. Oh, and look, you can see like bifurcation and it's it's pectoral fins. That's a good shot. And oh, it's landing. With those fins, it knew. It's those small um, fins that are sticking yeah. out the bottom of it that you were you were explaining. It feels the bottom, right? Right. Well, interesting. It's got this little tiny, like tail at the end of its tail. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, like a caudal fin. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. like poking out of the ray fins. Like a rudder. Oh yeah. So cute, actually. <laughs> it is. Okay, bye, so, Basca, I guess. Bye-bye. Can you zoom out, please? Pilots, we have a question in the chat about the slurp tube. Sometimes it takes a while for the sample to show up in the jar. Is that because it has to tra travel a while, or? Yeah, it's like, factors? what, six feet of hose it's got to go through? Yeah, six to ten feet, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. And we don't like to, to ramp up the suction too much. Um, it's not good for the sample. It's also hard to fly when we're fighting Spongy pressure. Thing? Yeah. Let's zoom in. Lots of these ones, eh? Yeah. I gotta know what these are. This is driving me crazy. I know, it's pretty cool. I'm glad we, I'm glad we sampled them. Picture. I do think that that was a good guess. It does look almost weird and like demo spongy, but mm. it would, be very deep, a very deep demo sponge sighting. So, and it seemed like the ones that we saw that we're referring to the cattails. Like if this were an early morphotype of a cattail and it grew yeah, thicker together. I but do see what you're saying. Like those knobs that almost get larger and merge together, and yeah. that's what it lo ultimately looks like. But the other ones really, they seem to be growing in little patches together. Like there weren't usually one on their own. So strange though that we're really quite deep, and this is. The but this dominant. I mean, this thing one that we're seeing. That one looks like big looks and fused. Much more it like looks a lot more fused. Like but it's others. so difficult to see any features because of the color and the yeah, light. Yeah, true. Yeah. So you know, it's, it's really for you to see any speckles or like any bubbly. Form. They look like gumdrops. We can move along. Zoom out, please. Yeah, got some good pictures of that one. Yeah, that that was. That, that kind of supports what you were saying, Jane. But it's also much longer than the other ones. I, I just, it doesn't seem it's quite the in same. This one, the, it's oh, very yeah, close I, I, I think it's I did, but now you're making. Yeah. Well, right, yeah. yeah. So we were I trying to make hypotheses if maybe it was just an earlier life stage of it, or it almost, because it does almost look like nope, they fused too together. Tired. Here, I'll show, I'll bring up. There's something on the yeah, left. Yeah, it's there. I can see it. Top left. Yeah. Seven. We're good. James, there was something on the left. I can't hear. Sorry, you got and there is here probably something over on the left. One, he was saying another one has more chew that I could spot in the here. Wait, this is it. Mm. Oh, it's kebab right. sponge. It's literally called. <laughs> Where did you find that? You know, there? not not really a scientific name, but others also looked at this and thought demo sponge kebab sponge. Amazing. And it has been seen. This is from Wake, um, which is a different area, that's a Xenophile 4, um, which is a different area of the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument um, surrounding. Which um, subheading did you find that under in the no ID guide? Zoom out. The demo sponge is other. Ah. Who I said kebab sponge? They get a sticker. Yeah, I love I love it when people look at it and they think <laughs> the same thing. Kebab sponge. Uh, usually food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, Good, I'm glad we collected it because it's only in there as demo sponge, kebab sponge. <laughs> so there's more to be discovered about its identity. And here again is the same pattern you have been seeing the previous dive that there is a dominant, yeah. you know, um, species, but each place has, has its own. Yeah. I know, and that's what you see on every dive everywhere. Why? <laughs> Bridge nav. Makes you wonder if it has Five to do with the food or the reproduction. Zero, or Thank you. So we have a question about yesterday's dive and um, why did it end? And we were 
posting in the updates just that it had something to do with the dynamic positioning for the boat, but we're good now. Yeah, um, maybe Lynette can explain it better, but there were just too many waves. Different forces, current yeah, and wind coming in different directions, and it was too much for the DP to fight both of yeah, them. I think the, the waves come from what uh, Master was saying. Um, every now and then the bow thruster would actually come out of the water. Oh. Um, just from the angle the waves are hitting the hull. And then the DP system, you know, get, gets a, a moment there with no resistance and it doesn't know what to do. It confuses the autopilot. More here. We don't have to zoom on it, but it's another one of those sponges. Yeah. Is that a sea star? Zoom in. I was just l just thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a little gonia starid sea star of some kind. I like that color. Mm -hmm. Isn't that your favorite color, Jane? Salmon. It is, yeah. We can get ahead, I see her. We were talking Meeting about how them. well we get to know each other on yeah, these bit. expeditions. Can we zoom out, please? I know your favorite color. I know <laughs> how you eat your cereal. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know you miss tomatoes. Oh, I miss tomatoes so much. <laughs> One thing I find when you get off the boat after an expedition is you've gotten so used to knowing everybody around you. Like, oh yeah, any human I see is going to be <laughs> someone I know pretty well. That I feel like I, I get off the boat and I look at other people and I assume that they look like people that I know. Aww. I just start seeing people I know and everyone around. <laughs> but it's because my body, like, you're just expecting to yeah. know people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've really interacted with the same 45 people uh -huh. <laughs> for 30 days. But other thing as well is that oh, I expect someone is cooking for me uh, breakfast, Interesting lunch ripples. And yeah, and yeah we're going to have to start cooking for ourselves yeah. again, huh? There might be a lot of cereal in our future. What is that? Is it three-dimensional or is it lying down? It's a line, a black line, but Stuck? what is it? Yeah, stick. maybe it's just stick. bone. Stick. I think that one's a stick. Stirk. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh kebab. Question in the chat, is there a protocol in place if you stumble upon s sunken treasure? Finders keepers. Dibs. Yeah, yeah. Dibs. Turn, off this, turn off the telecast immediately. <laughs> oh no. Finders keepers. I think that's the rule at sea. Probably not in the... Not I, in don't, the I, don't, I, don't I think, think it's in written the exactly the like that. Actually. In the easy. <laughs> Finders um, yeah. well, Section 3.5. We don't you know, ten so only section a, third section, huh? Wow. All all uh, all objects of value, i.e. treasures, shall be uh, shall be delegated by the rules of find these keepers. <laughs> we know yeah. some people a sea pen would be a treasure. It's right under, underneath the clause of smelt it dealt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what were you saying, Lila? I didn't hear. I was you. just saying we don't tend to see treasure, so yeah. we, it's not a thing that we have to that On we the encounter, record. but in the Mediterranean, they did <laughs> more often find um, like sunken artifacts. Uh, so they did have to think more about how to deal with archaeological artifacts then. But we don't encounter that problem often now. And if we're doing a dive on a wreck intentionally, which uh, Nautilus does decently often, I don't think that we take anything from those. Seems like we're uh, traveling kind of parallel to these rock ridges in the sandy part. Yeah, and yeah. they're kind of coming like from steeper to less steep. So these flows kind of had like ridges almost, I guess. We're like in a sand channel. Yeah. I hate that channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's so boring. Well, you do have rocky ridges on both sides of you. That's true. Yeah. Can't tell. She said you chose this. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I'll go over here. You you do you're doing a great might job. You do well. whatever you like. No, I was just going. Rocks Five might be zero better. Two four zero, please. 
Oh, that is a hermit crab with a zoanthid on it. Ooh. It's oh. a parapigurid. Um, they always have this weird zoanthid on their back. <laughs> That's oh, yeah? like huge compared to them. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of remember seeing this maybe it's not on our watch, but on another yeah. watch earlier. It's, it's fun when you see them cool. running away with their zoanthids, yeah. just like trailing what went flopping back. behind them. Yeah. This one ahead, it almost seems like too big of a zoanthid for the crab. It's that like where's the crab in ridiculous. there? That's way it too is small. ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Wearing a zoanthid as a hat. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, do they ever get so big that they can't move? Yeah, I don't think he can move. Well, I, think no move. I think it fell. I think it fell. It does look like it's been crushed by its zoanthid. <laughs> yeah. But that wouldn't be in the best interest of the zoanthid. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like, I can't. Help me, I can't get up. <laughs> See if... <laughs> I kind of want you to like fallen, try and I poke it. Should we poke it? I know, I can't. Oh. Like, <laughs> scoop it? We got things to do and... All right, let me All right. Craft, okay. come wide, craft coming online. Craft coming online. So the crab just carries the zoanthid around. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's standing and walking. <laughs> <laughs> what does the zoanthid do for the crab? Um, I it don't is know. under I guess a lot of pressure. It's Canyon protective trip. house almost, and then yeah. in exchange it gives it. Uh, it carries it. it. Like carries it to, you know, gives it access higher up in the water column a little bit, and uh, and moving around. It's like its little turtle shell. There's the halothorian. Yep. Do so the zoanthids have? Sorry, we don't really have time to zoom in on this. That's okay. Stinging cells on their, in their cnidocytes. I uh, mean, do they, are they yes, like? Uh, they do. Stingers also have stinging cells. Um, someone in the chat says they're growing tomatoes in their garden. Do we grow anything on the boat? Ooh, that oh, sounds great lovely. Idea. Garden fresh tomatoes. Yeah. We should get like a whole aquaponics system with hydroponics. Fish. fish? No, <laughs> aquaponics where you like recycle fish poop for fertilization. Oh. Yeah, somebody was talking about that the other day. I think it was Annabelle. They're doing it at her school. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah we, we have don't like have anything on board like that. I think a few people have a couple little tiny plants in their portholes, oh. but does yeah, does your roommate have plants? Yeah, just little tiny plants. Your roommate is well decorated, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> Our bunk is pretty fancy. Oh, there's all that. Yeah, stuff it's all just kind of trapped in this little yeah, channel. Interesting. Little depression. I'm not sure what else to call these Do in my data log besides sand balls. Is it a stupid idea it's to phyto. suck a bunch of it up? No, I think it's phytodetritus. It's just like fluffy oh, like phytodetritus that's that's a coagulated like. Um, accumulated together in balls. Oh, that was off the thing right there, my side. Sticker oh, stick. Nope. Oh, what do we stick? Stick. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, stick. it's stock. a stock. Stock. Not interested. Can you come up on the add-on, please? Uh -huh. Please, please, please. Starting depth was twenty-eight fifty. 2700 now. Uh, the death we were at was 23. No, that's not right. I think it was 2850. I was kind yeah, of. 2853. I was kind of um, just marking to see how much we'd ascended so far. Uh, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Unless you want to switch. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will, actually. But let me, can I go to the restroom? Let me bump up Delta. Still waiting on that Dumbo octopus. Yeah. I know. 
I keep watching Atalanta's view because I'm waiting for something yeah, to start just between in us. Case. This wasn't all that different from the areas they found them, right? Mm -hmm. In the last few dives? Mm. I don't remember where they found them. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I don't think it was a ton of fauna. More xenophyophores. Bridge now. Most of them. Yeah. Five zero two four zero, please. Thank you. I wonder if you could grow a xenophyophore in like an aquarium tank if you had the right four amps to do it. Yeah. Yeah, we can get one in a push core and bring one up hey. live for you. That'd be cool. I'm so Although the push cores seem to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, the sediment's not good for it. It's too coarse. Too it doesn't coarse, stick together. Yeah. Yeah. Can we zoom in there? What is that? The sea pig? Nope. Um, yeah, yeah I, I think way. it is. Oh, baby sea pig or something. Yeah. It is small, so you're right. Cute. <laughs> Ashley, I think you were about to start to say something. I'm sorry if um, I cut you off. No, totally fine. I, I actually don't remember what it was. So clearly it was very important. Mm. <laughs> it also by? could just be 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Not much in the way of loose rocks here either for collection. No, unfortunately. Small ones. It would be really cool to see one of those really complex yeah. fours where they look like Almost like lettuce balls or like brains. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I don't really Ooh. quite understand what those are. What's this? So. What is this? Zoom in. Crinoids. Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Ah, it's beautiful. Can you zoom out, please. Can you come up on Delta? Um. You yeah, did a great job explaining, Lila, what a xenophyophore. I just can't yeah. wrap my head around it still. So uh, they're a kind of foram, foraminifera, which uh, is actually what a lot of this sand is kind of made out of. Um, and foraminifera are a protist, so it's a single-celled organism. Um, or at least these xenophyophores are single-celled organisms, but they have, like... They have multiple nuclei because it's kind of like big fused cells almost. Interesting. Um, they're not prokaryotes. That's what bacteria are. Um, they're eukaryotes, so they're a little closer like to us in here? their cell type. Yeah, what was that? Could we, is it, is there any way to look at that a second longer or we got to go? Sorry, I was just looking at it. No one said anything. So oh yeah, sorry. You guys were talking about other stuff. I thought you weren't no, interested. That's so. cool. It is interesting. It's oh, like I thought that was another coral. crinoid. It is weird how it all fans from like a single point mm. or a very small. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Is there a little crab at the bottom? Yeah. Oh yeah, a tiny hermit crab. What type of coral is that? It's a black coral. Oh. I'm so scared. Look at it go, look at it oh. go. This one, I don't think we have seen this. Yeah. Uh, in this. Um. Okay, we can move on. I know we're falling behind. We can Thank keep you. an eye out and see if there's another in the future. So amoebas are also protists, right? The eukaryotic single cell. Um, not mistaken. That sounds sure. right. Looks like it's about to get pretty steep, so. Yes, yeah, it does look steeper here. That's the only other example of a protist I can think of. That's the only reason I brought that up. Yeah, the only other protist examples I can think of are not like common things, they're just things that I've, you know, learned in biological oceanography. Huh. Really, really contoured this 
uh, these rock features. Mm, is this starting to look more loose? No, not really. Some of it. Um, I guess also protists are a lot of our phytoplankton. They are, those are protist organisms, so the tiny plant-like organisms in the surface ocean that um, are responsible for taking up so much CO2 and releasing so much oxygen, are, those are protists. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Is that another sea pig? Sea pig. Sea cucumber. Sea oh. So I have a question for you all. I was doing a ship to shore with a classroom the other day, and uh -huh. they said, they asked if there were sea pickles down here. <laughs> and I was like, well, no sea pickles, but sea cucumbers. <laughs> well, somebody yeah. said earlier, it was a great joke. They said, if you put a sea cucumber into a brine pool, will it become a sea cucumber? I can't sea remember who said that earlier. Sea pickle, yeah, that's a good one. But I think no. sea pickles are sea actually. Sea pickle is, yeah, it is actually a thing. See, last year this came up. I thought <laughs> it would be best to call sea, cuc uh, 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 sea cucumbers freshwater and then sea pickles saltwater. But that makes sense. That would make too much sea sense. Sea pickles are pyrosomes, which are colonial tunicate organisms. Oh. And they um, have been seen a lot more uh, frequently off of various coastlines, but I know at least off of the Pacific Northwest. Um, and they're kind of one of those organisms that seems to be doing well in these lower oxygen warmer temperature, you know, slightly warmer temperature waters that we're seeing as a result of um, climate change. Yeah, okay. But they can be really quite large. And they wash up on the beach and... They wash up yeah. on the beach, yeah. Sometimes we were descending with Hercules and there'd be like tons of them. Oh, wow. Well. That's the great thing about being a teacher. You can be like, it's actually a sea cucumber and then find <laughs> out that there really is a sea pig. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to go home and tell my student he knew what he was talking about. Yeah, I feel like any any funny name you can dream up, like some <laughs> uh, some scientist somewhere has been like, let's call it that. Is there a sea Cheeto? Yeah, maybe. No. Did you, do you know what that black What's coral that? was? I think it's a Sticker bone. Sticker bone. A rock? A rock? Uh, it's a rock. It's flat. I got a rock. All right. That's not cool. That's not cool. Oh, yeah, it is flat with sand on top. <laughs> Takes Were you a worried that it was another fossil? <laughs> I was like, no, a fossil. No. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what you're talking about. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Activating craft arm. So <laughs> these look a bit looser, maybe. Maybe. Maybe getting in, getting in there. A lot of this still looks flatter, like it broke off of the like little shelves. Very layered, maybe too. Like little layers on top of each other. Yeah. Pretty steep. That's a true story. Yeah, you should get ahead if you can. I can't. Yeah, so the ship is not moving right now. To okay. Try to let you catch up. Can't teleport through the rock wall in front of me. Oh, mm -hmm. so sorry. That's legend just, Zelda. Just kind of gonna get there when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new legend of Zelda, right? Move the mountain. We can teleport through the rock or something. Or has it ascend thing? Yeah. Go up a level. Now you can kind of see, the l now that there's less sediment on top of it, these like sort of bulging ridges. Wow, this is so steep. You're looking like straight up right wow. now, aren't you? Yes, yeah, like you can... See the lights, yeah. Yeah, see the sonar. Let's go over 
this way for a second. Tack. Wow. Very bubbly and botryoidal, especially in the cinema cam. You can really see that. Yeah. Question in the chat says, do we know how old the rocks are from the samples that we get? Well, that's the goal. Um, we can't date that right away. They have to bring them back to the lab. But um, what we're looking for inside of every rock is crystals that are that were formed when that when the rock when the seamount was initially formed. So not stuff that has since intruded and become become a part of that rock more recently, but the original crystals from the basalt from the eruption. Um, and and researchers at the University um, of Nevada, Las Vegas, are taking some of those uh, samples back to the lab, the some of the cut rock samples, pieces of them, to be able to age date them. And they're probably expected to be somewhere between like 50 and 90 million years old. Some old rocks. The ship still old, moves. Old still rocks. Standing the ship still? is stopped, yeah. How do you guys feel about a rock sample? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah. Um, yeah, is there anything that's less flat? Like, does that look cemented to you? I'm trying to find something that doesn't just look like a flat piece. Or that, if that's... Pre... Thank you. Um, let's see. It might be decently big, but if we could go for that one. It'll relax here for a sec. This isn't gonna settle. We're just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fly. You're gonna bring the arm up, and we'll do it live. Coming up. Go ahead. Is the craft valve off? Yes, it is. Which one? This one? That one, yeah. Yep. That one right there. Looks like 20, 25 centimeters. It's big, but. Oh, it's flat, though. Yeah, it is quite flat. Oh, it's crum. Did it just crumble? No. Uh, I don't think so. Um, could we take a look at this one over here, maybe? So not this one? Not that one. I think that one looks too flat. Either this there or maybe that on the left. That might be out of your reach on the left. So maybe this if that's not too far. Nope. Just out of Oh, nice. Man, they're like all flat. Yep. Two for one. And Let's try one more. Which one? Um, 
Looks like there's a round one. Like that one. Yeah. 